Hi guys, I'm back in the gym and uh, as you're watching, I've got camera along with me. Today, training shoulders and calves. This is still 11 weeks out from doing the West Coast Classic, the NPC show right here in Pasadena. So first exercise for shoulders, I'm doing a seated behind the neck military press on the Smith machine to allow me to go heavy. And uh, this is just my warm up set. I'm with my first work set now, and uh, as always, I'm trying to hit that 10 rep max. Uh, I'm not decreasing my reps, so at least not intentionally. Uh, adding as much weight, about 10% on each progressive work set. I'm trying to hit failure, and then trying to use the technique like a rest pause, a drop set, or a strip set to um, maintain that 10 rep max and just have a rest or take some more weight off. So, first work set here, and 10 is the uh, rep count. So the first technique I'm using, rest pause. 20 seconds rest and then back on. Really want to recruit those type 2B fibers, the growth fibers. And uh, at this stage out from the competition, 11, 10 weeks, so I really want to be lifting heavy and getting the muscle as big as I can. So I can put big fat. Then I want to fight back down. On to the final work set now, and this one I'm going to aim to do a uh, drop set. I'm going to keep the same weight, knowing that as, uh, as I increase the weight, of course my energy is coming down, so no need to add more weight onto this one. As long as I can get a solid four reps, I'll take off anywhere in the region of 20 to 30% of that max weight, and then complete the rest of the reps up until that 10 or a few more. So this is really to help with mass, especially on the rear delts, which is a kind of a weak point, or at least has been for the past year. So it's not a bad idea. Four solid reps, that means I've got six to get left on this way. Straight into it, no rest. Alright, I just got those 10. Let's move on now and focus more on some dumbbell work and still hitting those rear delts. Moving on to the rear delts, uh, I favor uh, the rear delt machine or, or chest fly doing it in reverse uh, as opposed to either cables or dumbbells purely for the reason that at this stage, several uh, ten weeks out from the competition, I'm able to keep a strict form and actually emphasize that muscle, activating it, doing more of the work than using heavier free weights and have my technique lacking. So, same kind of technique, rest pause, drop sets, strip sets as I build up the weight, but once again, aiming for that 10 rep max. Just about hit that 10. So, one page chart for the next work set, and I'll probably need to do a rest pause on that set. On to the final set now on uh, the rear delt machine, and uh, taking the weight up to about 225. Again, aiming for 10 reps, but at this point, as many as I can get, and then drop that weight down again 20 30%. So 
hit seven, it's three away from ten, but on this last set, I'll aim for twelve, so five more. Alright, moving on now to some bent over single arm lateral races. The problem I have with dumbbells compared to that of uh, weights, plates on the machine, is that it's hard to make that increment, that next step up. For example, I'm on 50 pound dumbbells to do single arm lateral raises. I can hit my 10 of that fairly comfortably. The next jump up, 55 is that. So it's a 10% increase. So in theory, it should be good. taking a quick breather before moving on to the left arm. The reason I'm performing single arm dumbbells is because I feel I get a better better lift, better range of motion as opposed to holding two and kind of cheating that rep, throwing my weight back and forwards. This kind, hang on the bench, and really focus on driving that arm up. Not so much with the hand, more where the elbow is. So the elbow and the wrist are pretty much in line with my shoulder. I'm not trying to lift it up like this or bring the elbow up. And this way, it's really that medial delt, which is having to basically do all of the work. Enough stalling on the left arm. Exercise for shoulders now. Uh, you'll notice I'm keeping this whole workout pretty short, basically under 50 minutes, no more than an hour. So, fourth and final exercise front bar raise. I'm using quite a wide grip to work more the outer or front medial part of the deltoids overhand grip. And uh, the only other thing is, I may substitute this one every other week to do an upright row. It's not quite the same muscle, but at least I get to work it in every now and again. sets on here, a few more techniques worked in, and then uh, it's on to one of my weak parts, calves. Right, with calves, I typically train these three, even up to four times a week, and I found the best kind of trick with calves is uh, they are uh, kind of a stubborn muscle, they respond to volume, I find, but still heavy weight. So, leg press, and I do uh, calf races on here, full range of motion, really squeezing that muscle at the top. Upwards of six to eight sets of 20 reps each. So I still go as heavy as I can. And uh, this is my first of three main exercises for calves. So, still warming up, and then I'll really start my work set and probably go up to six or seven plates each side. As you can see, I'm pretty much keeping my knees fixed. I'm not bending them too much or keeping them locked out, keeping them soft and trying to get that calf to kind of work its full length by flexing my foot up and down and also the angle of the toes. I don't really change my foot positioning too much, but just slightly will emphasize more this outer portion of the gastrocnemius and soleus or the inner toe. But you'll see with some of the seated calf exercises later how I can really hit this thicker, full of muscle. Calves are really the only time that I 
to have stretched them out uh, in between sets. Really just the, the fascia, kind of connective tissue that surrounds the muscles, the ligaments, the bones, etc. Uh, especially tight in the calves. So I find like an incline, stretch it out, ease that tension, and I find I just get a better, better stretch, and cause a better pump. So this is really my maximum weight now for uh, calves. And I'm aiming for 20, I still have that, that solid ceiling rep range of 20, but uh, I'm kind of at the end of the workout now, so I suspect a uh, drop set is going to be on uh, in need for this one. Still technique's important. Of course, with this much weight, I can't but help have my quads engaged, especially when my knees bend. That's another reason why I keep my knees fixed. Otherwise, when they bend, the quads then come into play. That's when other muscle groups are working. It takes that strain off the uh, primary muscle group. Final set here. It's the only time I'll drop the weight on that last work set. And on this one, it's the last exercise, just rep it out because you're moving on. Okay, seated calves now. If you really wanna train and grow your calves, I believe you just gotta have a seated calf press or seated calf raise by keeping the knee bent and actually taking out that lock leg part of the, the muscle of the gastrocnemius can't fully function so the soleus has to do all of the work and that's actually the thicker one here so you know sometimes I work this one first go as heavy as I can so that it's somewhat fatigued when I do the uh, leg press or standing calf but this one just gives me that pump that I can't seem to get on any other calf machine same principles apply 20 reps rest pause first and then a drop set if I need it so I hit 12 15 seconds rest back down hit those 8 last calf exercise. This is a donkey calf station, 45 degree angle. Um, I love this one because I can keep the knees slightly bent and basically control how much of that calf is uh, being worked. So as you can see, keeping the knee bent really fires up this section of the soleus muscle. And I can keep the knees fixed in this position then pushing up, pushing up and really hitting the calf muscle. So. pretty much uh, another workout 11 weeks out this Saturday which is uh, three days away it'll be 10 weeks out from the show so uh, follow me on YouTube you'll see the uh, kind of journey unfold and uh, as always follow me on Twitter at Rob Richards to basically see all of the meals my contest prep and kind of how I change my training and diet along the way and if you're wondering shirts and tanks and vests t-shirts Phoenix are now available and they are worldwide, so uh, pick yours up, take a photo, and uh, post it to my Twitter site, and I'll retweet it to the world. Bye, right, guys. I see you then. Take care.